Can you use a drill battery to power a car's windscreen wiper motor? And can that then be used to drive a rotating set of solar panels? Let's find out. So we finally managed to save up enough to do some upgrades on our solar. While hunting online, I found that EcoWorthy do a dual axis solar tracking mast and frame, which looked great, but after a quick email, was told that they're completely sold out in Europe and they don't ship to Ireland. Okay, on to plan B, make the frame with lightweight aluminium. That idea lasted all of about five minutes until I saw the cost of materials heading north of 400 quid. So it was back to the drawing board and my old friends and the builders providers for some 2x4. I built the frame in two sections for easy lifting and used good old reliable ron seal to stain and preserve the wood. All that's left to do now is put it together and test it out. I've added some cross braces onto this lower frame just to strengthen it up. I've also put these flat boards across because I want to use some casters to try and support that weight of the upper frame. Um, I've added a tensioner onto the chain drive down there to keep it nice and tight and make sure it stays on course. And then finally this little cabinet to house the motor and the other electronics. Now I don't have the reverse polarity relay yet. It's supposed to come in the post in the morning, hopefully it will. But we can just go from battery straight to motor just for the sake of the tests and uh, let's see what it does. So let's give it a shot. I'm just going to back up a little bit so I don't get a slap off it. There we go. You ready? Oh yeah! Off she goes! It's turning a little bit quick but the chain is staying on course. Alright, let's reverse the polarity ourselves here and try it the other way. Ooh, she is quick. That is a bit quick. Okay. Alright. It's going pretty well. That's not bad from that little battery, huh? And, a, and an old wiper motor. I'm gonna go ahead, get the frame on and all the panels and see what it does then. This is the reverse polarity relay, it arrived in the post there yesterday. Basically all it does is switch the polarity to allow the motor to turn backwards and forwards instead of just being stuck turning in one direction all the time. Two main reasons I chose this one was because it's marketed specifically as one for a linear actuator or a 12 volt motor. Um, the second reason was that it operates on a momentary switching action which means that it doesn't do anything unless you're holding the button down. And that button is this handy little remote fob, which has a range of up to 100 foot. So I'm going to go ahead, wire it all up, and uh, connect it all together, and we'll give it a test out. Okay, I need to bring this out. Yeah, bring her down. Good thing I didn't do it when the grass was wet. Sure. Now, we're actually pretty close there. I want to go back to you just an inch, that's all. Alright, so at this stage now we want to slide it up. I smell dog shit. It's all over the place down here, I've just stood in it. Oh man, I just, yeah, I just stirred up a nice pile of it there now. I have to smell wash the boots. It. Right, we're sliding. So we're going to slide straight up until the slot sits in the middle. Okay. okay. Are you right? Oh shit. Tip it up. We're caught on the frame close. Stop pushing I? upwards, yeah. Caught on the fucking thing. There we go. No, you're too far. There you go. Okay. God, that is stink. It's over here. Okay. Now. Are we right or wrong? It needs to come towards you. This. I'll oh, try and do that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to have to tap it down on your side. Yeah. Stink. Everywhere again, are you? Silly boy. That is very not bad. 
Okay, do you want to screw it in? You like one of those fellas from CSI with the way you have your glasses. It's like, I can be here right now. Oh, my gosh. No, it makes it look real cheesy. That looks like me, so. Yeah, that's true. That's cheesy. Right, what's that? That wasn't too bad. No, at all. it wasn't. I thought it would be a lot worse. I thought it would be like the mask. just finished fitting and wiring up all the panels and straight away I can see one problem it's in the shade of the tree over there it's casting a shadow on them which is going to cost some power so we'll have to give that tree a haircut now I haven't tested this yet so this will either be an enormous fail or a success so let's see what happens I know that there's a couple of things need beefing up on it I'm not too happy with that reverse polarity relay I might want to get a bigger one maybe a 30 amp one something like that um, Let's see how we go. All right, let's do it. Fingers crossed. Oh, switched. No, something's wrong. I hear grinding. Okay, look. Let's go have a look and see what's happening. All right, it looks like there's too much pull on the axle. It's just spinning inside the bearing inside here. The whole shaft is just spinning and that sprocket definitely needs replacing okay okay well unfortunately it looks like in its current setup this will not work it wasn't a total fail though as experiments go we've learned that the little wiper motor is strong enough to do the job even with the 8 amp relay and the drill battery powering it all what's letting us down is that axle made out of little kiddies toys which i suppose isn't much of a surprise if you had a smaller setup, something like this, I believe, will work for you. At various stages of building this, when I had this section on and when Chloe and I put the other section of the frame on, I give it a little test and it was working. What seems to have stopped it now is the weight of all those panels on there. So what's next for this? Well, get a proper drive shaft that fits that bearing that won't slip inside it. Easily done from the scrapyard. Hopefully there I might be able to find a really large sprocket to increase the torque that I can get from that motor and reduce the speed that it's trying to turn at, that'll definitely help things along. And we haven't even gotten a reading of how much power is coming out of these panels. And well, there's no point in doing that today because the sun's completely blocked out. But we'll do that another day and we'll have more updates on this. So guys, I hope this inspires you out there. If you're building your own thing, give it a try, find the parts and uh, mess around and find out. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do take care of yourselves out there. Adios. Thank you.